All right, uh, is our guest ready to go? I believe so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and programming note, um, we are not going to have Keith Yandel on, which sucks. because I, I noticed really, that. Really looking forward to having him on, but uh, he's a no-show, and I was very excited because he's a, a good good personality, uh, uh, but now I don't like him. I'm, I'm a little <laughs> I, 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 I don't like, like him anymore. I, Listen, I, I'm no longer we, a fan. We, we love them, but we also uh, hate them. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, the one who will be here uh, and be a part of this uh, next interview has come to many campouts, and we can't thank him for supporting us year after year. Okay, so I can introduce these guys? You should be able to. Via Zoom, please welcome, and they won last night. I mean, handedly won last yes. night. Uh, please welcome Claude Giroux and Travis Sennheim. Yay! There they are. What's up, fellas? G, good morning. How you doing, man? Good, good. You guys tricked me this morning. What? When you, when you guys asked me to do this interview, I was told Casey wasn't going to be here. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, you're so lucky you're not here in person. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a professional athlete, but I outweigh you by like 50, 60 pounds. I would absolutely throttle you. Well, all a muscle too, right? <laughs> well, I'm getting there. Yeah, Casey's been getting in I know, shape, I know. you know? He's actually... He's, he's, I know, he's, I saw. I yeah. saw. Yeah. Well, we do know that G's a better bowler than you. I saw that. Oh, I know. I saw it too. <laughs> Person. Hey, G, congrats on your on your uh, goal and your assist last night. Travis, congrats on, on your assist to uh, to G's goal last night. It was a very it was a close game for for a couple of periods, but you guys just took you know took off in the third period. So congrats on that. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Hey, are you guys are you having fun? I mean, the season's off to you know things are going well. Is it? Um, and and by that I, I don't mean just winning, but you know while it is work for you guys it is possible for you to have a good time while you're doing it as well has it has it been a good start to the year in that regard of having a good time yeah it's been great i mean uh we have a lot of different guys on the team and uh older guys character guys funny guys and um like you said uh keith yandel is a funny guy and uh, you guys, lo you, you guys lo lucked out with uh, Travis Sennheim here. He's uh, pretty <laughs> hilarious himself. But uh, he's laughing uh, I mean, already. <laughs> <laughs> no, just being around all the new guys and uh, the way that this team came so quick and the chemistry off the ice, uh, um, it's uh, it's kind of working well right now. So we got to keep it going here. Travis, this is the first time we've had you uh, on our show, so we're we're getting to know you for the first time as well. But um, uh, Joe Seville, who works at the Flyers, said that uh, you're a Canadian farm boy from the uh, north north part of uh, Winnipeg, uh, and you work on your farm in the off season. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I head back there, uh, try to help out as much as I can. We uh, we got a grain farm, so uh, try to get in the combine tractor as much as I can, help out uh, the family farm. Okay. Is it fun to drive that thing? Because it's gigantic. <laughs> it looks awesome. It looks so cool. For me, it's fun. But uh, when I tell people I'm going three or four miles an hour, they, uh, <laughs> they don't uh, like it too much. Well, yeah, but it's still, it's still a beast. Now, let me ask you, how difficult is it to milk a moose? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the one with the antlers or the yeah. one with... <laughs> it's a different kind of milk. We don't have a cow. We have a bull. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, so, oh man, um, something I was going to ask G. And our what do you guys like to eat? No, it wasn't what do you guys like to eat. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to ask him, and Casey pointed this out. I was at the game last night, which it was really fun. It was a tight affair until the third, and then you guys pulled away. Uh, and uh, Drew uh, had, a, had a goal and an assist. Um, but the, your goal... With, there was an empty netter, and Couturier could have taken it and got his second goal of the night, but you were right next to him, and he passed it to you, and it was such a typical hockey play. It was so selfless, and, he, and so you got a goal as a result. And, uh, you know, did, did um, Couturier say anything to you ahead of time, or is it like you're open, he passes it to you, and, and you get an empty netter as a result? It just uh, happened that you kind of followed the play. It's, uh, you know it's an empty netter, and uh, at one point it was just me and Coots, and I uh, always taught. Uh, drive the net, you put your stick down, and good things happen, and that's what happened. But uh, like you said, it was a selfless play from uh, from Coots, and um, I mean, if you could, he could have put it in, and uh, he didn't, so it was. Uh, uh, we just laughed about it after. Yeah, I mean, he really could have, and and maybe even should have buried it as he's making that pass. And I know it's kind of a bang bang play. Did you have any thoughts, like, dude, what are you doing? Like, this should be yours. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, he had the puck, and I was going to, like, skate away, let him have it. But I'm like, if I skate away and he passes it, I'm not there anymore. And it looks, it looks pretty bad. It right? looks so, bad, yeah. Uh, I, well, I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. We, we, we talk a lot now, and we apply it to everything because the show Ted Lasso is so popular. And it kind of, in a way, has given us a peek into locker rooms. And we sort of perceive, is, is this the way that 
it, 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 it goes? Is this across sports? Is this sort of accurate? Are you guys watching it? And if so, does anything ring true, at least about the dynamic of a team, uh, to you guys if you are watching it? Have you seen it? No, go ahead. No, no. I haven't seen it. Oh, I, 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 I've seen it. It's, uh, it's great. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty accurate about teamwork and um, how a team goes well because they click together. And uh, when it's not clicking off the ice, most of the time you're not clicking on the ice. So, right. Uh, I mean, it's a great show. And... Uh, it's pretty dead on, I, I, I want to say. Okay. Now, speaking of the locker room, there's a new tradition. The past few years, it's been a tradition <laughs> of uh, somebody at the start of the game gets to wear uh, something that's been assigned. Uh, and now it's, what is that thing it's called? It's the starter jacket it's from the starter starter jacket. 90s. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm lukewarm on it, man. You were a big helmet fan. I the, the, like the original <laughs> motorcycle helmet, I think, was the best one. What What do you guys think What uh, as far as oh. that? tradition how about how about this how about we give you guys a chance to bring something for us to play the game and oh. if we like it we're gonna we're okay. gonna do it but it's got to be good like we're, right. we're gonna vote as a team you guys bring anything you want to be, we can do to that be, uh, a moose head or whatever a you guys want. no no we, all right whatever yeah. you guys want that we're gonna give you guys a, a, a chance to, to have the player of the game Oh, oh my God, press wow. it. Yeah. That's, oh, our God. minds are reeling Damn. with possibility. Oh, the wheels I are turning, so man. Yeah. I can see Casey right now. I'm like, oh, I got some good ones. Oh, I got a couple. You know, I, the, <laughs> first thing, the first thing that came to my mind was the, the, the kissy bear head that we have, but we can't. Oh, no, no, that no, thing's, no, that thing's so crawling dumb. with syphilis. It has pink eye in it. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking a strap on, but I don't know. No, no, no. You no. can't get away with that. <laughs> no, no, it's it's got, how great would that look? A, a dildo on your head? That'd be great. No, I didn't say wear it on your head. Oh, not an No. That'd be yeah. ridiculous. That'd be yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll come, we will come up with something. All right, something that yeah. you, can, you can you can wear and not lose your career. So, so yeah. uh, G, they asked about Ted Lasso, but you have you have babies now. So, like, what kids shows are you watching? <laughs> ah, oh, uh, we had Blippy for a while there for a long time. He actually came to uh, where uh, where did he come? I don't even uh, know. Maybe 45 minutes from here, Blippi came and he had like a musical, and I brought I brought uh, Gavin there, and it was just insane. I'm not familiar and with, with it, Blippi. It's what? like it's oh. one of the biggest things. In Is it? Kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Huh? Yeah, he's thinking over for sure. You got to look this guy up. <laughs> it's, uh, we had a great moment. Crazy. If, if you if you remember last year with Gavin, because uh, we you know we, uh, during the pandemic, G, you were still in Canada. We had uh, Scotty Hartnell was calling in from Jersey, and uh, and JVR came on from I think he was in Minnesota. But Claude, you were at home, and there was just a moment where Gavin kind of wandered <laughs> into the background of the Zoom. <laughs> it was pressed up against the door, and and, and you know uh, it was that was a year ago essentially at this point. He's doing well, and congratulations on the other baby too. Yeah, yeah, we got two boys now, so it's uh, uh, it's uh, pretty awesome out there. Wow. I mean, we all have kids, and, and they, you know, they're grown and stuff like that. But so w we know that you end up watching what the kids are watching anyway. And so as a result, like, some of our most exciting guests we've had in the studio, we had the, we had the, wiggles, the wiggles. We had the wiggles. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. And they goodness. actually they sang a song for us. <laughs> and, yep. and then here at the Camp Out for Hunger, we had the Fresh Beat Band. They're not around anymore. They're not yeah. around yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, the, But, like. You know, so that's why I asked you because you know this stuff. They, they you know, they become you become celebrities you, in our world. Like, yeah, yeah. You, they, you tacitly become fans because that's all you're hearing, right? I mean, yeah. that's you don't see any adult regular sh programming for a while. You're watching kid stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we went to go see uh, Blippi, we met him after too, and I, I was looking at him and I was actually amazed. I'm like, you're. You're 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 sick. You're famous. Like, I'm out. Can I get a picture? Like, well. With Blippy, <laughs> Travis. Oh. How old are you, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right. Your uh, kids ways off from that. What what's your what's your yeah. relationship status right now? Are you single single no man? No kids. Just a girlfriend. Yeah. No or kids. Practicing. The guy's driving a vehicle that goes four miles an hour. He doesn't have time for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you can't cruise for women in a combine. I don't know, maybe in Northern Canada you can. I don't know, man. Oh, that's awesome. Well, listen, we appreciate you guys coming on, supporting this event. Travis, it's wonderful to have you be a part of this for the first time. And, and G, the years and years and years uh, that you've been uh, a part of this event, we, we can't thank you enough because we know that uh, uh, the Flyers fans, it resonates with them. They come out, they get motivated, they help. People get fed, and it's a win-win all the way around. So thanks for that. 100%. And uh, right. good luck. Good job, guys. Look yeah, forward to a great work. season. Let's yeah. hear the clock, Drew. Thanks, guys. Travis Sanheim, thank you. I love it.